Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is what makes triangles congruent. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, let's get started. There's our question right there. How can we show that two triangles are congruent? Okay, so if two triangles are congruent, then all their corresponding uh, parts of the triangles are congruent. Okay, or we can say corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And why am I saying that? Because of those red letters right there. Okay, does this look familiar? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. I'm in my truck. It's a hot day, so uh, I have the, the air conditioner on. So that was my seatbelt telling me to put on my seatbelt, but I'm just in the parking lot. Anyways, uh, so uh, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, then all the corresponding angles are congruent. The first letter is congruent to the first letter. The second letter congruent to the second letter. The third letter congruent to the third letter. So all the angles, the corresponding angles are congruent. The corresponding sides are also congruent. And you do that by doing AB is the first and second letter. So go over here. It's the first and second letter, DE. Okay. BC is the second and third letter, so it's congruent to the second and third letter, so that would be segment EF and so on right there, okay? So that's what that means. So the converse of CPC is also true, and it says, let's slide that up right there, it says that if all corresponding to parts of two triangles are congruent, then those triangles are congruent, okay? Lots of congruent words in here. So determine whether the triangles are congruent and explain your reasoning. Okay, so here's two triangles right here. Are all the parts congruent? So let's take a look. I got one dash through these two sides and one dash through these two sides. I see a 38 and a 71, 71. 38, 71, 71. Yep, all six parts are congruent. So I can say the triangles are congruent because all the corresponding parts are congruent. you got to say them in order. So if I said triangle... RST. So let's look at RST. We went from 71 to 38 to 71. So we got to go from 71 to 38 to 71. So you could have also said uh, WVU because that also goes 71, 38, 71. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me put that back right there. Okay, so just make sure you do it in the correct order right there. How about these triangles right here? Are these triangles congruent? Well, I see a congruent side right here. I see some 60s in there, 60 and 60, but whoops, this one's 41, this one's 42, and that's 78, and that's 79. So I'm going to say no because the angles aren't congruent, okay? So the triangles are not congruent because some of the corresponding parts are not congruent, okay? No, um, don't say yes or no on this, you guys, because the directions are saying explain why they're not congruent. So just to tell us why. Tell your teacher why. If it's in my class, I want you to tell me that you recognize that uh, the corresponding angles are not congruent, something like that, okay? All right, so find the value of the variables that results in congruent triangles, okay? So here we go. All right, so they tell us that they're congruent right here. Okay, so I see uh, the, all three sides with markings, so all these three sides with markings right here. So, so this angle, whatever this angle is right here, because I see a 55 and a 45, I see a 55 and a 45 right here, this angle P must equal this angle L right there. Okay, so all the corresponding parts are congruent, so we need to find the measure of angle P. Okay, so by the triangle angle sum theorem, we could just say, hey, these three angles add up to 180. Well, that's easy enough. Just go ahead and add them up and subtract it from 180. And so we get um, uh, we get it to be uh, 80 degrees right there. And so we're not done with that. This 5x plus 30 equals that 80 right there. So it says uh, find the var value of the variable. We need to find x. So let's go ahead and solve for x. So subtract 30, divide by 5, and we get 10. Okay, nice and easy, right? All right, how about this one here? Okay, it says these triangles are congruent in these directions right here to make congruent triangles. Okay, so we're looking over here. So 2y plus 20, it's going from the 1 arc to the 3 arc. So we got to find the side on the other triangle that's 1 arc to 3 arcs. Okay, that's 2. There's 1 arc and 3 arcs. So it's going to equal this 36 over here. So we're going to go ahead and set uh, uh, the 2y plus 20 equal to that 36 right there. Okay, so DE corresponds to AB. All right, and I just followed the angle markings right here. I guess you didn't have to say all of that, but you can just say, okay, 2y plus 20 equals 36 because this 1 arc and this 3 arcs, 
is going to equal this one arc and this three arc. So that means that this side right here corresponds to this side. Okay. So now we're just into uh, algebra one land here. We're going to subtract 20 and then divide by two and we get eight. Okay. Easy, huh? All right. So the measure of two angles in triangle QRS are 18 and 84. And the measure of two angles of triangle TUV are 18 and 76. Is it possible that these triangles are congruent? And explain. Well, what we need to do is we need to find the third angles in both the triangles. So by the sum, triangle sum theorem, those angles add up to 180. The measure of the angles of uh, QRS are uh, 18, 84, and we f uh, find out that this has to be 78 to get us 180 in that first triangle right here. Similarly, to f add up these three angles, we find out that third angle is 86. And so since uh, the 86 and the, and the 84 are not uh, corresponding, the two pairs of corresponding angles are not congruent. Those triangles are not congruent. We need to find those third angles to see if they all matched up on that right there. Okay, so determine whether the triangles are congruent. Notice it says explain. Okay, here's the first one right here. Okay, these sure look congruent, but we got to explain. We got to find the the side lengths and we got to find the other angles. Okay. Well, because they're horizontal and vertical lines, then we have right angles. So just mark them that they're right angles. And then we got to uh, do the triangle sum theorem and find out the third angle. So this third angle right here is 26.6 right there. Okay, so, so far so good. So all three angles are congruent to all three angles in the other one. All right, now we got to find the side lengths, you guys. Okay, so from the horizontal, we just count across. That's three. And from the vertical, that's six. That's three and that's six. We just need to show that this side equals this side right here. Do you remember how to find lengths of sides right here? The good old distance formula. So we got to figure out the good old distance formula. And we're going to use the distance between negative 4, 3 and negative 1, negative 3. We're going to see if it's the same distance from 1, negative 4 to 4, 2 right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and crank it out. There that is right there. And if we do a little bit of um, um, number crunching right there, we find out that they're both the square root of 45. So those are equal to each other. So all six parts are congruent. So we have the triangles are congruent because all six parts are congruent. So by the CPCTC part, uh, those triangles are congruent. All right, let's try it with this one here. Determine whether these triangles are congruent. Well, let's see what the angle sides are, you guys. Good old distance formula. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of go fast, save time. There's our distance formula. And we get the square roots of 20 and 40. Okay, square roots of 20, square root of 40, square root of 20, 20, 20. And hey, this is a vertical line, so we can just count the spaces. That's four right there. Are all three sides in this triangle congruent to all three sides in this triangle? No, they're not. That 40 and that square root of 40 don't match up. So those triangles are not congruent, okay? This would be showing your work and explaining right there. Don't just look at it and say yes or no. That's just, that's the easy way out, you guys, all right? You want to impress your teachers anyway. So anyways, if you're in my class, that'd be your homework assignment. Take care.